Hello, in this video we're going to go over problem A3 from 2004 Putnam math competition. So here is the problem. Define a sequence un by u0 equals u1 equals u2 equals 1 and thereafter we define un by this recursive formula. The determinant of un, un plus 1, un plus 2, un plus 3 is equal to n factorial for every n greater than or equal to 0 and we want to find, uh, we want to show that un is an integer for all n. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through the the process by which I obtain the solution. So anytime I'm dealing with a uh, question about sequences, I'll start with finding the first few terms of the sequence. Since this recursion is not given um, in the standard form, I'm going to first simplify this and find the next term, which would be the term u sub n plus 3 in terms of the previous terms, and then we'll go from there. So simplifying this, evaluating the determinant, we get this equals n factorial. Now, uh, solving for un plus 3, we get un plus 3 is equal to n factorial plus u sub n plus 2, u sub n plus 1, divided by u sub n. Okay, so we want to show that this is in fact, every term in this sequence is in fact an integer. So first of all, u0 is 1, u1 is 1, and u2 is 1. So the next thing we're going to evaluate is u3. So u3 would be, uh, I have to plug in 0 for n, so that would be 0 factorial plus the previous two terms, so 1 times 1, divided by the term before that. So this term is going to be 2 u4 is going to be, I have to plug in 1, so I get 1 factorial plus 2 times 1 divided by 1, so this would be 3. u5 would be 2 factorial plus 3 times 2 divided by the previous term, which is also 1. So this would be 2 plus 6, which is 8. Okay, so far I don't really see a pattern. So let's evaluate a few more terms and hopefully we can find a pattern. And then we can hopefully prove the pattern by induction. So let's do that. So the next thing would be 3 factorial plus 8 times 3 divided by 2. This would be 3 plus 8 times 3. So it might be a good idea to factor these because oftentimes we may be able to find a pattern by looking at the factorization. So this would be 3 times 5. Okay, let's do uh, the next term. So this is 4 factorial plus 3 times 5 times 8 divided by 3. So this is 24 um, plus 3 times 5 times 8 divided by 3. We'll simplify 3, we get 8 uh, plus 5 times 8, this would be 8 times 6. So at this point I don't really see a pattern, but what I do see is that these terms are all even, and these terms are all odd. So it looks like the even terms are odd and the odd terms are even, except for the very first, uh, first term, so that's, or the, the second term, the u1. There seems to be an, um, an exception there. Okay, let's evaluate the next one, u sub 8. u sub 8 would be 5 factorial plus 8 times 6 times 3 times 5 divided by the previous term, which is 8. And let's simplify this. So this is 120 uh, over 8 plus 6 times 3 times 5. Now simplifying that, we get 15 and... Uh, then we get 6 times 15, so we can factor, we get 15 times 1 plus 6, which is 3 times 5 times 7. So this is our next term. Now, it does look like that there is a pattern here. So the first, uh, the term u2 is, is 1, the next one is 3, the next one is 3 times 5, the next one is 3 times 5 times 7. So maybe the next one would be 3 times 5 times 7 times 9. Let's uh, do a bit of computation um, again. So u9 would be 6 factorial plus 3 times 5 times 7 times the term before that, which is 8 times 6 divided by the term before that, which is 3 times 5. So let's simplify this. So the first term is 6 factorial, 
uh, we can write that down as 120 uh, that's like basically 720 and then plus 3 times 5 times 7 times 8 times 6 divided by 3 times 5 okay so this term cancels 3 times 5 if we divide this one by um, by 5 we get 1 uh, 44 and if we divide it by 3 we would get uh, 48 okay and we do have a 48 we can factor so we get 48 times 1 plus 7 so this is 48 times 8 now let's evaluate u10 and hopefully we see a pattern u10 would be 48 times 8 plus or rather 7 factorial so 7 factorial plus 48 times 8 uh, times the previous term which is 3 times 5 times 7 divided by the previous term which is 8 times 6 and once you do the calculation you see that this is in fact 3 times 5 times 7 times 9 so um, just like basically simplify and you get that formula so the odd terms seem to be um, product of odd the I guess the even uh, index terms product of odds what about the other terms what do they give us so thinking about this a little bit more we see that this is also 2 times 4 and this one is 2 times 4 times 6 so those also seem to be this is 2 times 4 times 6 times 8 so those also seem to be the product of consecutive even integers so here is now the claim and if we prove this of course we have shown that um, un is an integer so we're going to show that u2n is the product of odd numbers so it is 1 3 the last one is 2n minus 1 and u sub 2n plus 1 is equal to the product of um, product of evens so this would be 2 4 and the last one is 2n okay so this is the claim and we are going to prove this one by induction so how do we prove this by induction so the basis is that we already showed that so this is shown above and we need to show that for a few terms because we are using the recursion now let's look at un plus 2 un plus 2 by the uh, recursion that we have if you look at the recursion un plus 2 would be 2n minus 1 factorial plus u2n plus 1 times u2n divided by u2n minus 1 so this is the recursion that we are given so this is 2n minus 1 factorial plus okay now if we multiply these two if you multiply u2n plus 1 and u2n what do we get we get all the numbers from 1 to 2n so this would be 2n factorial divided by u2n minus 1 is the product of all the evens so it's 2 4 all the way to 2n minus 2 so let's simplify this and hopefully we get the next term so if we factor 2n minus 1 factorial from the top we get 1 plus 2n on top and at the bottom we would get all the numbers from 2 4 to 2n minus 2 these are only the evens at the bottom so these evens at the bottom and evens on top cancel and we do in fact get all the odd numbers starting from 1 all the way to 2n plus 1 which is what we expected now we need to also find 2n uh, u sub 2n plus 3 u sub 2n plus 3 would be 2n factorial plus u sub 2n plus 2 u sub 2n plus 1 divided by u sub 2n now we get so plus u sub 2n plus 1 times u sub 2n plus 2 so u sub 2n plus 2 we already found that it is this and u sub 2n plus 1 is this so what do we get if we multiply these two we get all the numbers from 1 all the way to 2n plus 1 so we get 2n plus 1 factorial u sub 2n by inductive hypothesis is the product of 1 through 2n minus 1 except that we're only multiplying the odd numbers not all of the integers so 2n minus 1 once we factor 2n factorial 
we get 1 plus 2n plus 1 divided by the product of all the odds from 1 to 2n minus 1. When you simplify all the odds, you're left with the even numbers only. So we get 2, 4, all the way to 2n, and then the last one is 2n plus 2, which is exactly what we wanted to show. So that means all of the terms of the sequence are integers. I will see you in the next video.